SwiftUI's at state property wrapper is designed for simple data that's local to the current view. But as soon as you want to share data between views, it stops being useful. Let's break this down with some code. We could write a struct to store a user's first and last name. Struct user, var first name, Bilbo, var last name, Baggins. We can now use that in a Swift UI view by creating an at state property wrapper and attaching things to $user.firstName and $user.lastName, like this. At state, private var, user equals user. VStack, text, your name is, user.firstName, user.lastName. Text field, first name, text, dollar user, dot first name. Text field, last name, text, dollar user, dot last name. That all works. SwiftUI is smart enough to understand that one object contains all our data and will update the UI when either value changes. Behind the scenes, what's actually happening is that each time a value inside our struct changes, the whole struct changes. It's like a new user every time we type a key for the first or last name. Now, that might sound wasteful, but it's actually extremely fast. Previously, we looked at how classes and struct are different. And there are two key differences I mentioned. First, that structs always have unique owners, whereas with classes, multiple things can point to the same value. And second, that classes don't need the mutating keyword before methods that change their properties, because you can change properties of constant classes. In practice, what this means is that if we have two Swift UI views and we send them both the same struct to work with, they actually each have a unique copy of that struct. If one changes it, the other one won't see that change. On the other hand, if we create an instance of a class and send that to both views, they will share changes. For SwiftUI developers, what this means is that if we want to share data between multiple views, so if we want two or more views to point to the same data, so when one changes, they all get those changes, then we must use classes rather than structs. So please change the user struct to be a class like this. Now run the program again and see what you think. Spoiler, it doesn't work anymore. Sure, we can type into the text fields just like before, but the text view above doesn't change. When we use at state, we're asking SwiftUI to watch a property for changes. So if we change a string, flip a Boolean, add to an array and so on, the property is changed and SwiftUI will re-invoke the body property of the view. When user was a struct, Every time we modified a property of that struct, Swift was actually creating a new instance of the struct. At state was able to spot that change and automatically reloaded our view. Now that we have a class, that behavior no longer happens. Swift can just modify the value directly. If you remember, we had to use the mutating keyword for struct methods that modified properties. This is because if we create the struct's properties as variable, but the struct itself is constant, we can't change the properties. Swift needs to be able to destroy and recreate the whole struct when a property changes, and that's not possible for constant structs. Classes don't need that mutating keyword, because even if the class instance is marked as constant, Swift can still modify variable properties. Now, I know that all sounds terribly theoretical, but here's the twist. Now that user is a class, the property itself isn't changing. So at state doesn't see anything and can't reload the view. Yes, the values inside the class are changing, but at state doesn't monitor those. So effectively what's happening is that the views inside our class are being changed, but the view isn't being reloaded to reflect that change. To fix this, it's time to leave at state behind. Instead, we need a more powerful property wrapper called at observed object. Let's look at that now.